Hi everyone. I submit to welcome you all to discuss metadata services in Oracle Suite. It is one of the very important features we have in Oracle Suite development. So let's understand this. MDS stands for metadata store or it can be also called as metadata services. So what exactly is this? It is a central repository. It is a central repository which is used to store shared artifacts which can be shared which can be shared among multiple services. So you know one thing well you know when you work in Oracle Source Suite development you end up creating a lot of web services okay because oracle server suite development is about creating the different web services like rest based web services or sewer based soap based web services now when we do that to create these web services we need some artifacts like access these are required like visual files are required to create these artifacts so now let's assume a scenario where i am working on a project where i need to create more than 100 web services so each web service will have its corresponding visual file as well so we come up across many scenarios okay in many situations we might need to use same visual file in multiple services so if we do not use the concept of mds what do we do is we refer the same file again and again okay so if, let's say i am working on 100 services so i would need 100 visual files to basically develop those web services now there might be scenarios where out of those 100 visual files 30 to 40 visual files may be repetitive files so let's say i'm developing service a service b service c so it might be the case that the same visual file is being referred in the service a and b but since i'm not using the concept of mds i'm ending up doing the redundancy the same file is being repetitively used which is not recommendation you know it industry never recommends a duplicacy of the code redundancy of the code so that's why oracle sua suite architecture as a solution called as mds so what do we do in this mds is here we can dump all the shared artifacts so that's what i have given the definition it is a central repository okay first of all it is restricted to oracle sua suite only where you can dump all the shared artifacts that are required to be shared among multiple services so let's say i i find a situation where same visual file will be used in a service a and b so what i would do is i will dump that visual file into the mds and whenever i need that visual file instead of maintaining the local copy i would refer that file from the mds okay so we would not have the local copy so let's say there is a file which is being used at 50 different places so instead of maintaining 50 local copies of the same file i can basically you know maintain a single copy in the mds and whenever i need that file i would try to refer it from the mds straight away which would help me to basically avoid redundancy of the code and again if let's say i need to make some change only at one place i need to make the change and it will start reflecting at 50 different places where this service has been referenced so the kind of artifacts which we can place in the mds are we can place xsd files we can place visual files apart from this we can place fault handling related files okay and there are files related to the spring context which can be also placed in the mds so there are like you know varied categories of the files which we can place in the mds now mds can be categorized into two one is file based mds and another is db based mds okay file based mds actually resides in your local machine so let's say i have a team of 10 developers then each developer will have its own file based mds it is local to the developers machine and db based mds it is the one which is used at run time by the server so basically the reason why file based mds has been introduced is let's say i am working for a client from india okay and the, my database is hosted in 
US location and I have a team of 10 people. Now, if each person has to refer some file, he would need to make you know, frequent DB calls to refer different files from the MDs. So, you know, remote calls always take more time and it basically, you know, interrupts your development speed. Okay, it basically hinders your development speed. So, Oracle gives a solution that what does it say is you take a replica of DB based MDS and maintain a file based MDS which is local to the developer's machine. So, at the time of development, developer can refer the files from the file based MDS which would ideally be the replica of the DB based MDS and at the time of deployment, okay, when the deployment is done on the server, the same files will be looked up into the DB based MDS. So, ultimately, the files will be referred from the DB based MDS by the server but to facilitate the speed of the development okay they have introduced the concept of file based mds only for the developers file based mds is never used by the server developers can also use the db based mds but the only reason it is not recommended is because the call to the remote database might take some time okay so it might hinder your speed of the development that's the only reason why it is recommended for the developers to use file based mds instead of db based mds Okay, but there is no hard and fast rule that developer cannot use DB based MDS. But other way around is not true. So server can never use file based MDS, server will always use DB based MDS. But developer can use both file based MDS as well as DB based MDS. But the recommendation is that the developer should be using file based MDS. I hope you understood the concept of MDS. Please stay tuned. We are coming up with a more short videos on our Oracle so also different features. Also, you can visit our portal k21 academy forward slash SOA dev 02 to know the details about the core structure of the SOA development. We discuss in more detail about the MDS in our SOA training. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching the video and do not forget to leave your reviews below. Thanks.